Jeff Farrell's on the hot homestead. All right. So I finally got my solar panels hooked up, and they're all mounted. And you can catch that on another video. But in the meantime, I made some modifications to my original setup. I took my meter and I had my meter over here. And I moved my meter to the opposite side of the converter. So as my solar comes in, it goes right into my charge controller. And from the charge controller, it goes into my meter and my meter down to the batteries. Now what I also did, and some of you made this suggestion. I have never worked with what they call bus bars. Those guys right there. I've never worked with those before. I've worked with those twist ties and those twist ties like I have right there. So I've never worked with these before. I don't like the idea of them being exposed. Um, to me that just seems like a bad idea. But here's, but here's what I've done. I went ahead and I did that for this reason. That's 6 gauge coming in here and that's 12 gauge. So and that's 6 gauge over here. And so on my meter I didn't want to do the twist tie didn't seem to you know it held it, it worked just fine but I don't know I thought I'd try these bus bars out and you know I, I, I like them I think I've fallen in love with bus bars. Um, I just don't like the exposure that they are, but at the same time, no, you shouldn't be touching it and and all that. So anyhow, um, so here's what I did, and uh, like I said, I got it coming in and then going over to my deal. Now I don't know how well this is going to come out, but what I have right now, and this is a 24 volt system. The 27.63 is what the batteries are, and I've only got one amp coming in at 27 watts. And the main reason is because A, I got clouds, and B, 27.6, I'm full. So it's it's in float mode right now. Now, some of you like the idea of having a charge controller that has all the bells and whistles, and this charge controller. I can't tell if it's floating or if it's charging or if it's what the heck it's doing. This meter here will give me the basics. I don't need all the bells and whistles. And that charge controller so far, it, everything's been up and running for two full days. And so far everything is working perfectly. This is a breaker. It's a 60 amp breaker so that if too much amps is coming through it will set that breaker off and protect the charge controller and this white wire coming out is a battery sensor and I got it down onto the batteries and that's just a sense the battery so when the batteries get too warm it affects on how this charge controller works I put some electrical tape behind those wires here because I didn't want the heat and all that to get on this thin wire that thin wire there so I just put some electrical tape over it and that should help protect it a little bit it's not getting when I go to touch the wires you know the wires aren't getting hot at all so but I've also got little amps going through so anyhow so that's my charge controller and my redesign my meter so don't forget to catch all my other videos on my solar components and and all that on the playlist I'll put a link to the playlist like up here or over there or somewhere like that and don't forget to like subscribe share comments and Jeff Arizona how the homestead I got some more work to do folks